Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's your eCampus Pastor Aaron here with another recap from Sunday's awesome, awesome message. November is here, and it's our pastor's 21st anniversary of pastoral leadership. How awesome is that? Let me be one of the first to just really thank you, sir, for sticking to it. Pastor T, we love and appreciate you. Trust that. We really do. You all can tell just how love and appreciated Pastor T is by the sermon lineup for this month. I mean, we are off to such an amazing time in the Lord already. This past Sunday, we got the honor and privilege of having none other than Pastor Daryl Scarborough of the Boss Church in Sacramento. He came to present an important unseen verse in the book of Genesis to the body of Genesis. This is definitely a message worthy of the replay. He took us to the start of it all. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 where it reads, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Pause. It started. The beginning of the creation. How exciting. Everyone should get happy on that verse alone. What a great moment for us all. Then verse 2 reads, Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Wait, wait, what happened? How do we go from creation to formless? The beginning was a fresh start, so I bet it was beautiful and refreshing. So why the void? Something had to have happened between verses 1 and 2. Real quick Bible fact when you do a little biblical research. It is possible for time to pass in between verses. It isn't written as you and I would write sentences and paragraphs. You see, life happens, God speaks, then they write to inform and inspire. Okay? We got it? Back to the beginning. Hmm. So with that knowledge, it would be possible that Satan's fall from the heavens could have been what happened in between verses 1 and 2. It's possible because we all know that when the enemy falls into your life, there's a void that's left. An empty space. A dark, empty space. But God, he was still there. The scripture says that the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. So even in the dark, God was there. Not only was he there, he was moving. So, how do we work the word this Wednesday? When faced with a dark time or a situation that warrants the question, how will I ever make it? Let me encourage you that you will make it by the same way it all started. God, the same God who created the heavens and the earth, created you. And even in the darkness, he's there moving on your behalf. It's a celebrate. <laughs> Understand that no matter how hard the enemy crashes your party, he can't make the spirit move. The enemy can't make God leave a place that he created. So you stay encouraged because God is with us. Let's celebrate and take in his creation as he keeps moving on our behalf. And I'll see you next Wednesday. God bless.